<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to the Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the Mobile One Cup Series race number three here in the final season of the Mobile One Cup Series. And as you can see, two unsponsored cars I've made it onto the front row. One a Dodge, the other a Chevy Camaro. Now, joining me up here in the booth is Mr. Benjamin Miles. Benjamin, thank you so much for joining me for this race today. It's an honor, sir. It's an honor. Kind of a cloudy day here. There was about a 60% chance of rain, and it almost looks like I can see it off in the distance there. They did kind of rush the start of this race. What, what are you looking forward to seeing in this race? Well, since it'll be cloudy today, the speeds will be picking up way faster, and the handling will be, t like, just smooth. But it would be interesting to see if the rain holds off and do not pull like what happened last night. If some of you may not know, the rain was postponed the Xfinity race last night at Chicagoland. So hopefully the rain stays away from the track today. Yep, I completely agree with that one as we're going track side. Drivers, start your engines! 27 laps of racing today and... Boy, oh boy, is it going to be a good one if it's based off any of the races I've seen before. Fuel mileage could come into, come into play today where we could possibly see somebody from the back come, into, come to race today. Come to win the race today, like Johnny Gardner did in the Budweiser All Pro Series race. Where we have, we have Abe Troxel and Ben Braley on the front row for the race today here at Las Vegas. Now, 27 laps, that's going to be probably be like at least 10 laps on fuel unless we get a caution. Indeed. So, I don't know. Is there, if you had to pick a car number to win, what would you, would you pick? Here, actually, we're gonna, I'm going to make it a little easier for you. Ooh, mm, this is going to be a tough one. To be honest with you, we got a lot, a lot of rookies in the field. I might put one wrap out of the hat. I will say... Jessica Villanueva might have a good chance of winning a race in a three car. Now, in the real in real life, the three car is consistent in the Xfinity series, or now, and they know I call it Mobile One series now. But the three car might be a good pick to win. I'll go for Jess. Okie dokie. Then she starts sixth on the outside, third on the outside line, but sixth place in general. Green flag is out. We're underway here at Las Vegas. Let's rock and roll, boys and girls. It's gonna be Abe with a good run down the outside as you see the cars come flying by. These cars are indeed just a little bit slower than the Cup Series. These cars will probably reach about 195 miles per hour or so. They don't even get out of the throttle. 196.7. They're just full throttle and like a full throttle anyway. Yep, and the number 74 will lead lap one. At an average speed of 181.25 miles per hour, imagine to see what that's going to be the next time by. Indeed. So these cars had to tape a spacer so they could easily stay in the throttle all the way around if they wanted to. And it looks like the 92 is dropping back. All these cars on the outside line are, are indeed dropping back because they can't because the inside line is the is where you want to be. 98 car got a, got kind of left out there by cars trying to get around them. Boy, these cars just love to fly by. Look, like make it three wide off a of turn two. Yep, right here you see the 42 of Eric and Rage going underneath two cars, and here comes Eric Holm in the, in the 54 car trying to get his way up here. As a lot of these cars still stuck on the outside line. Now, I guess you can consider this much like a super speedway. Well, we'll see cars come from the back to the front. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, we have a, looks like you have a change for the lead now. Yep. Change for yep. the lead. Here comes the number uh, uh. 25 of John Art. John Art, who won last week at work. Crap, it was Atlanta. Yeah, who won last week at Atlanta. He's already back up to the front. And here comes the 55. Oh, make it three wide. That is the 33 of Mamadou Dallow. 
DeLeo, excuse me, uh, it's been a long time. Ma Mamadou DeLeo in the 33, she, here she comes down the inside line with Eric and Rage right behind her. Now she's going to open the door for Eric and Rage as Eric and Rage is going to take the lead now, heading down off into turn number one. Question is, how long will we hold the lead going into turn three? Well, they're single file behind them, so unless the 54 tries to pull out, which it looks like he's trying to. Like he is. Barely he's there, quarter panel wise. And he might block him up. Nope. Uh, Eric and Rage won't lead. Oops. Won't lead this lap. It'll go to Eric Holm in the 54. Now, these guys might be be careful. They off the game close of a turn four wall. You don't want to have a clutch because of that. <laughs> Here comes Morgan Grempler in the 28 car. Right behind Morgan is a 62 of Sky Commons who won at Daytona the first race of the season. Boy, it's, we're gonna, it's gonna really be hard to pick a winner if these guys can't hold the lead for more than a straightaway. Definitely. And look at the 40 might go the inside of the 62 for the lead. I'm gonna pick a random car and we're gonna go on board. Well, let's go on board with the 18 of Dylan Thoreau. <laughs> And by the way, Aries is a good product for internet, so I have one in my home right now, so shout out to Aries. Give me a good motor. <laughs> and the little will be the 24. 24, Joseph Srigley. Str Joseph Srigley going for the lead, but here comes the 22 of Zach Campbell to the inside. Oh, and Srigley was almost able to put the block on the 22. Question is, when will these cars start diving off for pit road, and will we see an incident coming on the pit road, which I have seen in the past? Oh, yeah. I definitely see in the past myself, too. And if I were them, I'd try to let the guards behind the judge behind us and wave their hands to know I'm pitting. That way we'll avoid a wreck. And, and as I've tried to say that, 18's going for second place. 18 car indeed going for second place. I'd like to look at this camera because this will help determine when cars come to pit road. And it looks like they're coming to pit road this time. And this is the first time I've seen in a while the 22 holds up the lead. I know, for more than one lap or for more than one corner. But here comes the sixth of Jordan Davis. And the six and the sixteen teammates on the inside line. That's Jordan Davis and Ryan Casey is not going to get put three wide. Hang on there, sixteen. Oh, there they go! Oh, oh the twenty-two no. flips. Oh my gosh, big wreck! Big wreck on the first way to way. Twenty-two cars flipping wildly. Oh, Lord. oh my gosh! It's involved. Wow. The twenty-two is flipping. Huge wreck on the front straightaway. And this is what I worried about. 22 car is upside down, just now teleports to pit road. Wow. Ryan Casey is involved. You see 18, 18 hurt. 18 kind of going through the field here. I don't know where the 90, where the 98 car thinks he's going all the way down there. But uh, he's like, hey, by the inside, line, inside it's like, hey, folks, I'm alive. <laughs> that is Ty Dent in the, that's Ty Dent all the way down by the apron, who is now speeding up. That maybe was one. Spot back? Go ahead. Maybe he's getting his spot back, maybe. That was one hell of an incident. Indeed. Uh, and look, I, he had no damage on it. He looks to have no damage, but we'll have to see. We're, we'll be right back, and we're going to look and see at this horrible wreck that just happened on the front straightaway. Soon as I saw the four make it, make it four, make it three wide, and 16 cut down, calm down low. Yep. Oh, no, he's going to get hit. And right boom, here into is. the wall, and that just flipped the 22 of Zach Campbell over. And other cars were getting involved, including the 88 down low. The caution is already out. The 18 car comes right up the track, back into the 16. And, and, and other cars were just involved right after that. Look at the 22 car. Man. I hope he's okay after that incident. Hits the wall and just ends up on his roof. It almost looks like something else happened up ahead. Give yeah, the 52. He just the 88 stopped. of Carson Gum and the and the 22 or the the 52 of Joshua Balkin 
Kind of look at the 74 had, though. May have had an incident right there. But this huge wreck is what happens to bring out the first caution of the race. And we do, in fact, have an onboard. Where is he at? Right here. With the 18 of Dylan Thoreau. This will be interesting. Oh man, maybe it took a little bit more. I think he might have made it through. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens to bring out the first caution of the day. It was a huge wreck on the front straight away. Cars, I'm sure, have hit already and are probably good enough to make it to the end, but you never know. Let's go back up for the restart. Indeed. Welcome back to Las Vegas. We're getting ready to go back underway. Here with uh, roughly about a little over, what, 13 laps to go, you think? Yeah, 13 to go. No, yeah, 13 to go right now, all right. So, uh, right now, Jordan Davis is your leader, followed by Davey Johnson, Rohit Vedarvu, Brad Smith, uh, Eric Burton, O'Neill uh, Balvin, Max Neuer, Matthew Dalio, James Norway and Jessica Villanueva and we have a bunch of cars one lap down so it's gonna look like a double file restart here at uh here at Las Vegas Patriot Stadium see most of these cars be up to speed but I know the 18 will not he got a lot of some got some damage on the right rear green flag is out and it, just as I suspected the four car of Vadarvu is not up to speed that as well he is going to block that entire outside line. I'm actually kind of surprised that 18 is up to speed. A little bit faster than the 4 car. I thought the 4 car would be up to speed like too quick, but then again, I was wrong. There goes the entire inside line, and the 4 car is still oh, blocking, blocking everybody. Oh, cars uh, are coming uh, back to the road. Cars are coming to pit road. Ooh, that could change everything. Oh, yeah. As we do have, oh uh, no, we don't have a chance to really watch these cars are lapped down. Jordan Davis is still the leader, and right behind him is the 43 car of Davey Johnson. Looks like the Cisco might go to pay road this time by. Nope. I guess not. It looks like it. 10 laps to go here at Las Vegas. Question is, will they pit? Because anybody else behind it already pitted. If they pit under caution, which I don't, I don't know if they did or not. I don't know how all those cars ended up one lap down. Yeah, good, yeah, maybe one well, of them involved in the incident, maybe, and the other leads went by him. There goes the cars coming off a of pit road. The six car is staying out. Nine maybe stay on the ninety. Maybe stay behind the ninety. Save some fuel. He's got a left car in between him and the forty-three. If I were the 43, I'd go a little now. Oh, oh, he's going to go oh, to the oh, inside. Oh, oh. Don't let the field. There. And that little page of field. <laughs> Good job, 14. Good job. Now the six car can definitely be saved a little bit by just jacking behind the 90 car. Yeah, so I would do this. He's, he's been close to winning the first, the cup, the first two races. He got close, but something always happened, and he ended up falling back. Jordan Davis in the six car is now leading. His real life, the real life counterpart who drives that race car, Daryl Wallace Jr., is on his pit box supporting Jordan today. Yeah, I know Bubba would be happy to see if he wins his race today. Only eight cars remain on the lead lap, and I'm not sure for how much longer. 43 car kind of put the put go underneath the 44 car to try to challenge for the lead. Here he Roush, comes. Roush Fenway Racing gonna try is leading, but we got we got Richard Richard Petty Motorsports in second place in that with that 43 car. Yeah, if I, if the only car will be a wild card will be the 40 car unless the six and the 40 that does not pit with the next couple of laps. But he's like five seconds back though. By the way, look at all these cars. All these gaggle of race cars up ahead. 
Where is the four three car is there, but hope that the cars in front will not hold him up. The 40 of Daniel Bowles is all the way back here. Well, it's not the 40 anymore. Now it's the 01 that's lead right there. Dane Ammon is running currently in the third position all the way back there. I'm not going to lie. That 43 is there. Yes. Yes, he is. And he come in a slow traffic in the process. So if I were the... The lap down cars get out of the way, let the racers race. And here you go, the battle for lead, maybe. There we go. Yep, here comes the 43 gonna battle the inside. So what happens when you catch lap cars? Now the 43 of Davy Johnson is gonna take the lead with less than five laps to go. Three laps to go to be exact, right now. Oh, and the six car lost so much ground. Oh, man. There goes the. 18. They're going to go by the damaged 18 car on the inside. Yeah, the, it looked like the 6 car got holed up. 43 car on the outside. There's some more cars coming to pit road. No, I'm 40, 90. Okay. Two laps to go for the 43. Question is, do they have enough fuel to make it around two more times? Uh-oh. The 6 car had to come to pit road. 6 car had to come to pit road. Uh-oh, that's not good. Six car had to come to pit road. Do well, the 43 car have enough fuel to make it? That's a good question. It looks like about the pit any minute now. Probably not. Oh, he's staying out. White flag. That's one lap to go for Davey Johnson in the 43. I think it's cool to let him know that the six car pit just coasts the way around. I think that's exactly what he's doing right now. Yep, 43, Davey Johnson, rookie Davey Johnson, the rookie is going to pick up his first NNSCRA career victory. He wins here in the Samstown 300. Good job, Mr. Johnson. Good job. And with a bunch of cars still traveling, only two cars finish on the lead lap. Wow. That's a great run also for Dane Ammon, even if he was 19 seconds behind in the 01. Who just came out of pit he road? He just ran out. <laughs> no, he came out of pit road. Oh, he did. Oh. So everybody except the 43 car had to pit again. Wow. That, that's that Raul Shea's engines. I'm telling you, they go a few mileage. I'm for the six though. Who we'll finished 13th? Yes. Tough break. Like I said, Jordan Davis always had so close to winning a race. But then he, something happened and he fell back. And in this case, it was him running in the lap, lap race cars that screwed him over today. As apparently, nope, only one car finished on the lead lap. And that was the winner of the race, Dave, mm -hmm. Davey Johnson. Okay, I'm going to uh, save this as mobile. Oops. As mobile. One. Vegas. Oh, yeah. Right. The 43 did his good job. And I think he, that's why he stay hang back. Cause you know what's gonna make it, so that's why he let the six car like, run out of fuel. That's why he been behind him for a while, save some more fuel. If the six car stayed a little bit like an extra lap or two, he would have made it. Yeah, I could, uh, completely agree with that one. But uh, as you see, rookies take the top five. Davey Johnson, Dane Emmon, Nick Fawcett, Eric and Rage, and Jonathan Zorle. All rookies finish in the top five today. I like that. I like, they like the rookie class this year. It'd be interesting who wins rookie of the year. And as you can uh, see where you finish, congratulations once again to uh, to Davey Johnson as he is in victory lane celebrating with Richard Petty. And uh, thank you so much, Benjamin, for joining me up here in the booth for this race here at Las Vegas. It's an honor. I have it's my first time commenting. I have a good time, and I hope to see everybody in the future. All right. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to become a part of the crew today. You can also go in and subscribe to my channel, McKinneyMan93, and also subscribe to Benjamin's channel. Benjamin, what's your what's your YouTube channel? Well, it's a long name. This under Ben Miles Class 2006 is. I had this since I was in high school back in 2006, so I had that since then. So I got a little anime videos, some old NASCAR 11 videos. As of right now, I try to hook up my Twitch account 
so I can record my online racing with my fellow friends from the Xbox Live League. I'm in the NXR League. Doing, they're doing project cards and NASCAR and stuff like that. So I might hand that up to. And the Twitch account is under Bronx Bomber Five Eight Five. All right. So thank you guys so much for joining me. This has been a production of the NNSCRA Offland Racing at its best. We will see you guys next week. Until we meet Later, again. Folks. <laughs>